I'm supposed, I'm a woman that wants to be, that is a man that wants to be a woman. That's become a man. That wants to be a woman. That wants to be a woman. Okay, and then you're still attracted to men. Okay, that's very clear, very concise, makes complete sense. Just so we can go over this and we can cover it again. You're a woman trapped in a woman's body, so you're transitioning to be a man that wants to be a woman yeah. that's still attracted to men. Yeah. Okay. How many genders are there? Well, now that's a touchy subject. <laughs> I would say there's only two genders, but that would be very close-minded and homophobic. Wouldn't you say there's like a billion trillion? I would say that whatever gender you want to be, gender is a social construct. Okay, so it's like a spectrum. It Yes, it's a social construct. There's like no autism. As autism is a spectrum. I think, I think the only reason we discovered gender was when Eve ate the apple, because Satan made her eat the apple to become aware that they were naked to put on clothes, and the only reason they were shamed to be naked was because they had different genitalia, apparently. Because they ate fruits. Because they ate the fruits and discovered that they had different genitalia. Genitalia, but it was never said that they had different genitalia either. But they were made to feel shame to put on clothes. So therefore, if that hadn't happened, we'd still all be of whatever. There would be anything as gender. Gotcha. So gender was created from fruit. Now that we're breaking that down. So for everybody who's asking questions earlier, I think Zena made it very clear. You know that she was a woman trapped in a woman's body, transitioned to a man that wants to be a woman that is still attracted to men. Now, what bathroom do you use? So that's another thing do you that I free, wanted. free game? If, like free game? Do you just get to go in and, oh, I want to use this bathroom. Today. Honestly, I don't believe that there should be a such thing as public bathrooms. I think it's completely indecent. I think there's risk of, you know, the grape culture is so vast and so big right now that I just don't think that there should be public bathrooms. No, I'm not gonna lie. I probably private bathrooms would probably be the uh, the best bet. But when you have a you know a large group of people in one area, private bathrooms just wouldn't be you know the most efficient. You know, so if you were to go to a public restroom, what restroom would you identify with? I don't, I don't believe in going to restaurants because restaurants are co usually corporate companies and I don't believe in giving my money to corporate big tech. Okay, but let's say it was like a mom and pop restaurant. Is, is it really a mom and pop restaurant? I'm just saying, if you were to go to a public restroom, wherever it would be, an airport, a train station, doesn't have to be a restaurant, what bathroom would you identify with? Uh, do you really have to use the bathroom? <laughs> Let's say you do. <laughs> what do you mean? Let's say I, it's an emergency. A hospital. See, I don't agree with hospitals. 